I can go into one of these effects, for instance, say, I don't want a photo there. I want to have a video there. So let me go into videos, back to my video area, and I'll pick a video that I did here. Say, for instance, uh, you've seen the Red Bull. We'll use this one here, which is more of a sort of a close-up artsy, artsy piece. I can go in here, drag that in, and say, replace the clip. You'll notice that it took the same length, too, which is kind of cool. I can go in here then and stretch that one out and say I want it to be this long. And it will take the, the, the length of the clip right, that you have that you put in there. So now if I scroll through, you'll notice there's the, there's the uh, car, and that's video, for instance. Now, what do I have happening on screen? I have high def in the background. I have a photo here. I have high def in the, the video window, and I have two frames with cast shadows that are animated. Now, say for instance, I want to use the same style text. I, I really like the titles that I use. I can enter them here standard. You know, that's certainly something you can do. But to save time, you can still use the copy. So I'll go to this video studio uh, uh, title here, and I'll say copy. And again, I'll paste that over here. So I'll scroll down the timeline. And let me just put the title happening right here. And there's that, there's that, and there's that. Pretty wild. Double click on the title and I can go in there and change the text and saying race cars. Race cars. Again, I can scale it. I can center it. I can change the color. Say for instance something very gaudy like the green. Or I can use my color picker and go through and pick a color, uh, something that's uh, opposite color wheel here. We'll pick the yellow. And there we go like that. And again, there you go. But the cool thing is, too, is that you can just keep banging away on this, on this uh, production. So here I go here, I'll say, okay, let me take this, uh, this race cars thing, and I'll position that, say, more up here. And say, for instance, to really overproduce this video, I want to put a, an effect on that race cars. So I'll select that, I'll go to my Visual Effects tab, and I'll find, let me just find one of the effects that I want to use here. And say, for instance, we'll use swirl. Let's just go to town on this one. So we have swirl here. You could put some hip hop music in the background here and really have something that's avant-garde. So there you have a, a title that is morphing around. You have videos, two high-def videos on screen. You've got a picture. You've got effects with picture in picture. So you've got all things happening all at the same time. Now. With the library, it's very, very interesting is that if you, say for instance, that title took me a long time to, to do. Say I really tweaked the effect and it's, it's me, it's me, like when I, I that's, my, that's my title. So I can go into my library here and I'll say for instance, let me go to my t titles and I'll go to my title area and I'll say my favorites. Here's my favorite titles. I really like this one. Let me just grab this title and pop it into my favorites so I can use that later. So if I click on that, wow, there you go. So Video Studio conforms to your workflow. You never have to really uh, do anything that, uh, that is super in-depth inside, inside of dialogues. Anytime you like something that you've done, you can totally go in there. OK, so I have a barrage of questions here. Let me just go through those, uh, see if I can go through those relatively quickly. Um, No, we can do 1080p, absolutely. So the 1080p clips, for instance, from a Canon T2i, we're, we're finding a lot of demand. The question was, can you import and use 1080p video? Yes, you can. Um, for instance, I have a Canon T2i, which is uh, uh, a digital SLR camera. It uh, shoots in 1080p, uh, 30 and 24, and it's absolutely breathtaking video, amazing video. For what you, the camera is under $1,000, but it shoots video that is pro. It's phenomenal. So I bring in that 1080p directly into Video Studio. That you can use it directly in Video Studio. Now, if your machine obviously does not uh, have the performance that uh, you know, not a newer machine, you can turn Smart Proxy on and then be as fluid as you want. Um, let's see here. Can you leave gaps in the video track? Uh, normally, no. The video track, everything has to snap in the video track. That's, for instance, why I added this uh, color clip here. The overlay tracks can have gaps. That's not an issue. You'll notice here that I have all kinds of gaps. 
if you wanted to have gaps in your video, what I would recommend you do is don't use the main video track. Just use the overlay tracks, and you can have gaps everywhere you want. Not a big issue. And a ripple editing will also work in that, uh, in that context. Yes, to slow clip down. So the question is, can you use slow-mo effects? So let me go in here and just to show you how quickly you can do a slow-mo. Let me just grab a clip, uh, for instance, this one here. Let's see, is that the one I wanted? Yeah, that's the one. And I'll pop that into the, into the main, main video track. And let me just go here. There's two ways to be able to do a slow-mo on a clip. If I double-click on the clip, you'll notice here it'll have uh, playback speed. And you can just type in playback speed. You can do faster or slower. But what Video Studio Auto also allows you to do is if you go to the end of the clip and you hold down shift, hold down shift, the cursor will change to white. And as you drag, it will show you the speed change. So right now, as I'm dragging it longer, 88%, 87%, 80%, you can do slow-mo just by dragging like that. This is handy when you go want to conform a, a clip that's a little bit too short for an effect that you want. Conversely, I can go in the other way, and I can actually go faster than real time. So you can see here 112%, so on and so forth. Keep in mind that slow-mo really depends on how you shot your video. Sometimes it'll look kind of kind of crappy. So just to be uh, just to be candid about that. Uh, another one: Can you chroma key out titling? Now our titles that come in here are are uh, already keyed. They're, they are using an alpha channel. If I wanted to use chroma key, say for instance, uh, let me just uh, grab another clip here, use the same clip I guess, just pop that in the time, timeline here. And if I wanted to use chroma key, so a couple of ways, if you had video that was shot on green screen, same sort of thing, uh, I don't think I have any of that on this uh, machine right here, but say for instance I wanted to use a chroma key uh, from a, uh, another video. So let me just drag another video in the overlay track here. So there it's in the overlay track. Let me just double click on that and go full screen again because I wanted to go full screen on this chroma key. Okay, so there's full screen. Now on this video clip here, this is the Windows Media Clip, let me just double click on that, and you'll see that there's now going to be, oops, sorry, my mouse finger was too fast. Let me go into mask and chroma key. In our chroma key and masking area, you say apply overlay options, chroma key, let's pick the color. And so if I use the little dropper here, I can go in and pick the color from this particular graphic, and you'll notice right away there's, it's keying out. Okay, I hope that answers the chroma key question. Uh, you can feather your chroma key. You can add a border to your chroma key. We also support masks. So, for instance, instead of chroma key, let me use a mask frame. Now, masks are very fun to use because you can use different shapes to be able to add some effect. For instance, some very romantic thing inside of a, a wedding video or whatever. Uh, for instance, uh, um, just one of these two hearts on the screen. And you can put that mask onto video, and it'll give you some kind of really cool effect. Let me ask and see another question here. Uh, setting up chapters in DVD, including a menu page. Yes, you can, absolutely. So this, I'm not going to go into DVD authoring in this particular webinar, because that'll take us uh, too much time. But Video Studio, if I go to the Share tab here, Video Studio comes with two uh, DVD authoring programs. Uh, one DVD authoring program is very, very simple. Uh, you go to Create Disk, and it says DVD Factory Pro for disk creation. And what that means is that DVD Factory Pro that comes with Video Studio is a very simple place where you can add chapter points, you can add uh, menus for your DVD, very, very straightforward. Uh, the one side of it is, is that it's not too uh, deep of a, a DVD authoring program. So to help users, users sort of fed back to us when we launched Video Studio, can we have a more advanced piece? So we've actually... Uh, uh, now we supply DVD Movie Factory 7, uh, which is a more advanced DVD authoring piece. That one has a little bit of video editing to allow you to do heads and tails, clips, but also allows you to make menus, uh, moving menus, chapters, sub-chapters, that sort of thing. That comes free with the software. So normally we would sell DVD Movie Factory separately, but I think the, the, the consensus around Corel was that we wanted to make sure that people were happy with the DVD authoring. So we've given you two pieces both of which are quite easy. One's a little bit more uh, deeper than another. Okay, so there's another one. Video and music talk syncing. Can you insert an unrelated shot and then return to the synced video? 
So replacing the audio in the clip. Yes, you can split audio from a clip and use different audio if you like. Now the sync uh, will totally depend on your source material. You know, if you have a, a voiceover, uh, it could sound like a 1960s Godzilla Japanese film. So you have to sort of be careful on, on your source footage of what you're doing. Okay, so that's in general uh, Video Studio. You can see that it's very, very straightforward to use. One final thing I wanted to show you is that certainly, you know, I showed you how you can copy clips to your My Favorites. You can copy effects to My Favorites for use in the future.